it's just somebody you need to shut down now. But the escapability of Tristana is what makes it so hard. And if she can get that kill, she can just continue to jump around and stay out of your reach. So that's yes. very, very tough. She's also moving quite quickly. She has a zeal, the Phantom Dancer, possibly going for another Phantom Dancer. Yep. And that is not going to be fun whatsoever. Everybody is now congregated inside the base for Xan. They are pinging around. We see a blue pill, Jarvan and Nunu both back in base. And we're going to see if they can come back out in time. No, Nunu actually just dropped out. It looks like he disappeared instantly, but he disappeared under the coin of Annie on the minimap. And uh, the Oracle's now in the hands of Nunu as well for this side. So both or oh, both teams have the Oracle. The initiation could come in. There was the flag drop there. The ultimate going down. Tibbers is on the ground. A good amount of damage, but a great heal from the hands of Sona. We, uh, picks her team back up. Uh, Janna using her ult, and it will push some people back, but only healing herself and not really giving her team the utility and support necessary. The ult coming out of the hands of Sona there after her heals will shut down the rest of the team. It is going to be a big jump. A lot of damage coming wow. out of the hands of Vayne was able to shut down Tristana. Not worth as much money at this point in time, but it was a good player to go down. It's going to be a lot harder for these guys to drop more turrets and inhibitors, but this one obviously being so low, they're going to be able to do it very well. An ace for the team. They won't be able to go all the way on this one. They may be able to get a lot of damage done. Actually, they have a huge minion wave. I am a liar. I did not ah, see that. Nah, as I looked down to the minions. mini map, they kind of blended in with everything down there on the minions. And it looks like they may be able to take the game here. Nine and seven seconds.